Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at the Christian work ethic as exemplified in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and Didache chapter 12. 2 Thessalonians 3.10 reads in the Greek, Que gar ote imem prosimas tuto parengelomen imim. Oti itis u theli ergazeste mide estieto. For even when we were with you, we used to give you this order. If anyone is not willing to work, then neither is he to eat. And we have two verbs here. The first is imi, the verb for to be. And the second is parangelo, which means to transmit a message or to order. Now, both of these verbs are in the imperfect tense, which denotes continuous action in the past, continuous repeated action in the past. And therefore, this was an ongoing message that had to be repeated numerous times that Christians must work for a living. And we can see the context in 2 Thessalonians 3, 6 through 12, which reads, now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you keep away from every brother who leads an unruly life, and not according to the tradition which you received from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow our example, because we did not act in an undisciplined manner among you. Nor did we eat anyone's bread without paying for it. But with labor and hardship, we kept working night and day, so that we would not be a burden to any of you. Not because we do not have the right to this, but in order to offer ourselves as a model for you, so that you would follow our example. For even when we were with you, we used to give you this order. If anyone is not willing to work, then he is not to eat either. For we hear that some among you are leading an undisciplined life, doing no work at all, but acting like busybodies, now such persons we command and exhort in the Lord Jesus Christ to work in quiet fashion and to eat their own bread. So we see here eating, estio, is linked to working, ergazome. And we also see this link in Didache chapter 12. Now the Didache is a writing of the apostolic fathers. Uh, and it is written approximately at the same time as the New Testament, maybe a few years later, but very close to the time of the New Testament. And Didache chapter 12, which is a short chapter, reads as follows. Let everyone who comes in the name of the Lord be received. But when you have tested him, you shall know him, for you shall have understanding of true and false. If he who comes is a traveler, help him as much as you can. But he shall not remain with you more than two days, or if need be, three. And if he wishes to settle among you and has a craft, let him work, ergazome, and eat, estio. But if he has no craft, provide for him according to your understanding, so that no man shall live among you in idleness, because he is a Christian. But if he will not do so, he is making traffic of Christ, Beware of such. So we see that in the early church, there was a problem with people who were Christians taking advantage of Christian love and hospitality and refusing to work for a living. The Didache calls these people Christ Emporos, Christ Emporos, a compound word from Christos, Christ, and emporos, a merchant or a trader. And thus, one who makes a living on his Christian profession. So, summary and conclusion. Christians are to lead a disciplined life. We see that in 2 Thessalonians 3.11. And this includes having a profession, in the Greek, techni, a way of generating income. 
energy, time, and discipline should be devoted toward preparation and development of one's profession. And obviously, the earlier in our lives that we do this, the better. We need to have, we are in the world system until we uh, are taken up and uh, we die or the rapture occurs and we are in heaven, we need to earn income in the world system. And this requires diligence and energy time and discipline. So we need to develop a profession. For example, Paul was a tent maker, Peter was a fisherman, our Lord was a carpenter, etc. My profession happens to be an accountant. I earn my living as an accountant. And Christians should not take advantage of other Christians' hospitality and love as a way of not being disciplined and working. In other words, being a Christ trafficker. Christ emporos. Thank you.